In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple tool that you can use to scale content of your AI food blog. The software is called Content Goblin. So this is the official site of Content Goblin. Let's go to pricing first. I want to show you free pricing plans that they have. They have a free trial available. So if you want, you can test it out for yourself. So as you can see, there are three plans. The cheapest one costs $29. The middle one costs $49 per month and the best one costs $99. There is not much difference between these plans because all of the features are basically the same. However, if you pay more, you get more credits and if you have more credits, you can create more articles. But first, let me show you how it all works. It's very simple. You can create listicle articles, you can create recipes, you can create single images, you can generate pins and you can see all of the articles in your library. So this is the interface that you will see when you click on a single recipe. It's all very easy. You have to choose the image quality and there are three types of images that you can choose. There is good image, better image and the best image. And the difference between these images is that the good image costs only one credit, the better image costs 10 credits and the best image premium quality costs 13 credits. I'm going to show you the differences between these images in a minute, but for now let's stick to the good image because it's the cheapest one. In this part, recipe prompt, you just have to put the recipe that you want to create. So let's create, for example, blueberry muffins. If you want, you can also use specific keywords that will be included in the text. It's good for Google SEO, but if you are just doing Pinterest stuff, it's not really necessary. So this is the output and I used only one credit to generate this recipe. So if you use the cheapest plan and you have almost 3000 credits, you can generate 3000 recipes along with one image. So have a look at this image. We paid only one credit and this image actually looks very good and it looks natural. So in most cases, I actually don't think it's necessary to pay for premium images. I'm just worried that if someone from Pinterest would go to blog with that kind of article and they would see this big wall of text, they would probably go back to Pinterest and find something different because there are no images here. So here's my suggestion to the owners of that software. You could at least give the option to include the image at the top, not at the bottom. But considering the fact that it took only one credit and for $29, which is the cheapest plan, we could potentially generate almost 3000 articles just like that, that's actually not a bad deal. Okay, now let's try to generate the same article with the better image quality. And as you can see, this time we are going to pay 10 credits, not just one. So let's click generate and let's see what we can get. So this time we paid 10 credits and that's the image that we have. Is it better than the first one? Is it worth paying 10 times more? Well, I'm not that sure. The quality of the first image was good enough, so I don't see the point of paying 10 times more just to get this kind of image anyway. And again, all of the ingredients, instructions and stuff like that is at the bottom, which is good for Pinterest, but still there is a big wall of text here. Okay, let's try the premium quality. Is it actually premium? We are paying 13 credits this time. Let's generate this article. So this is the most expensive recipe on Content Goblin. The content itself is pretty good, but again, a big wall of text, which I don't like. However, the image, I have to say, the quality of that image is very good and it looks the most realistic. So if you really care about the high quality of images on your food blog, I guess that the premium images on Content Goblin would be the best option for you. But I have to say that the cheapest ones were still good enough. So the image is great, the instructions and ingredients are pretty good. This big wall of text is something that I don't like and it requires a little bit of more work. You could definitely use that article on your blog, but it just needs more images. So you could go to image generator here on the left and you could just generate more images of the dish that you want to create and just include more images in your final article. I just don't see the point why they didn't include the option to choose the number of images because you could just choose three or four images and it would create the same article, create more images and the images would be already within text. So I'm not sure what Content Goblin is doing, but come on guys, it could be better. So in my opinion, that's the biggest disadvantage of this software because it means that you have to put more manual work and that's not what it's all about. Okay, so that was the single recipe, but we can also use Content Goblin to create listicles and that's a very important feature. Okay, let me show you how it works. Let's choose the good image quality, which is the cheapest one. 
let's choose the section type. So the section type is basically the text that appears under the image. So do we want short text? Do we want long text? Or do we want a recipe? Well, we want a recipe because we are creating a food blog. For the article topic, this time let's try out five low calorie desert ideas. You can also check out the advanced options. So you can use additional image prompts you can use additional text prompts for the text and you can use specific keywords if you want but for now let's just keep it empty and let's select five images to generate which are vertical and let's click generate okay so this is the final article we have five delightful low calorie desert ideas to satisfy your sweet tooth we have all of these five ideas along with the images ingredients and instructions so we paid only five credits to generate this article and i think it looks very good however there is some weird text here so that's because of the fact that we are using the cheapest image type i'm sure that if we would use the most expensive one the output would probably be better so overall the article looks very good it's helpful it has ingredients instructions the images are not bad at all however i don't like the fact it just ends like that there is no faq no final thoughts no conclusion or anything like that just the instructions it's not a bad article but it may require a little bit of extra work especially if you are using the cheapest images then if you see something weird if you see that something is off that avocado looks weird then probably you would have to go to image generator and just regenerate this image again but you have to remember that this article was extremely cheap and it took literally a couple of seconds so if you pay for the cheapest plan for 29 dollars you could generate almost 600 articles with five images so that's basically you could create a whole website with just 29 dollar plan now let me show you the pin generator tool because you can use content goblin to generate pins as well. I'm pretty sure that this software uses the API of ideogram to generate these images. So in my opinion, it may be a better idea to actually use ideogram instead of paying for credits here. But to show you how it works, let's generate a simple pin. Let's put the pin text, which will be easy blueberry cheesecake. And the image prompt will be tasty blueberry cheesecake so this time we are going to pay 13 credits and let's just click generate to see what we can get okay so this is the image that we created and it seems that i didn't select the option to include text on image so if you want to include pin text on the image you have to select that option but you get the drill you can generate pins using this software it's not ideal because it costs a lot of credits and you get the same output as on ideogram and on ideogram you get four images at once i actually recommend using ideogram and i have a video about creating pins with this software so if you are interested make sure to check it out i also like the fact that on ideogram you can choose the aspect ratio of your image but on content goblin there is no option like that so i'm going to be honest i don't like the pin generator function here and i recommend using ideogram instead Okay, so is Content Goblin actually worth the money? Well, I think it is worth it. If you want to create content very fast, you can pay $29 for the cheapest plan and create, for example, 500 or 1000 recipes just like that. However, all of these articles are usually very similar. So if hundreds of people are using that software and everyone's targeting the same keywords, then obviously your article will look the same as someone else's. But considering the fact that you can pay only a few dollars and generate thousands of recipes in one day, well, that's actually not a bad deal. If you want to check out Content Goblin, there is a free trial available and you can use the link available in the description. Okay, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about Pinterest and blogging and AI, check out the free school community. It's called Sigma Blog Academy and there are a lot of free resources that you can use to grow on Pinterest. The link is in the description. Let me know what you think of Content Goblin in the comments down below and I hope I'll see you in the next one.